We've got to find Riku and King Mickey. But uh, where do we start looking for that there door to the light? Good question. Huh? Huh? Pluto? Pluto? Hey, Pluto! Where have you been? Huh? How? Gosh, that's the king's seal! Hey, have you seen King Mickey? <laughs> yep. what? Guys, let's go! Go chase down Pluto in this random field. <laughs> random laugh at the camera. Very, very creepy. Oh, that's so long. That's okay. Got nothing else to do. Remember, Sora, you're the one who will open the door to the light. Wait, didn't we? Wait, a what? I thought we did. Guess not. I guess not. Special secret. Another side, another story. Looks like Oath Keeper in Oblivion. Oh my lord, we're going on a drug trip, people. Oh my goodness, that was creepy. Yeah, even that little bit is actually kind of important, to be honest. But much, much later. This is the end. And we end with the cover of the actual game case. How fitting, actually. Was it this one or the next one that we actually get the... Oh, it's the next one. In the following games, you actually get like a prog or like a status at the very end, and then you get to see. Uh, I'm not sure if they include this in the final mix or not of this of Kingdom Hearts One, but um, they might give you an option to continue afterwards. But if you don't, I'm not quite sure. But for this one, you have to turn off the game in order to get off the screen. I know in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix, you get to continue afterwards, which is required in order to do some of the stuff, which we are getting, which we will get to eventually. But we have to do one thing before Kingdom Hearts 2. Because if we jumped right into Kingdom Hearts 2, we'd miss a big chunk of storyline. Big, big chunk. And even though it wasn't, not everyone agreed with the game, it's important. It's, it's very important. So, I guess this is it, guys. This has been a Let's Play of Kingdom Hearts on Boom Bates. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next Let's Play.